Every day that passes, I feel a mounting urgency to proclaim a warning and a solution to a world that is on the brink of the greatest disaster that has ever happened on this planet. For decades, the world has been moving almost imperceptibly closer to this precipice, but suddenly things are picking up momentum. So much so, that what I said yesterday seems almost out of date to what needs to be said today. I am not alone in feeling that there are unbelievably dark times ahead for the whole earth. There are thousands of YouTube channels that are addressing these same concerns. But I do feel very much alone when it comes to offering God's solution to the problems of today's world. Everywhere people seem more interested in drawing attention to themselves, in generating hysteria, in using public concern as a way to sell yet another product. And the public writes to me like they expect me to hand them a pill that will make it all go away, so they can get back to business as usual. The impending doom that I am talking about, in biblical terms, is all associated with the prophesied mark of the beast. It's here, not yet implanted in everyone's right hand, and possibly not yet in its final form, but it's here in terms of all the groundwork leading up to its implementation. Religious leaders are now being sought out in many different countries who will assure the public that the various prototypes for the mark of the beast are quite safe, not yet the final mark with all that will go with it, as though we can live our lives pretty much the same as always until the last exact minute when all other avenues of economic survival clank shut and we are cut off from food, fuel, housing, medicine and every form of government assistance. Then, we tell ourselves, then it will be time to act. Then it will be soon enough to get serious, soon enough to look for other alternatives. But what we really need, above all else, is to take the time to listen to God. That is the lesson we should have learned 2000 years ago, and it is the lesson we continue to run from even now, when we need God's guidance more than ever. Oh, we want him to make it all go away, and so we seek him for that. People write to me day after day, saying in one way or another, please tell me what to do, so I can escape all the unpleasantness that seems to be looming out there. Tell me it's okay to get this card, to use this form of identification, to keep on enjoying all the comforts that go with doing it the system way. If we had listened to Jesus from the start, what is happening now would still be serious, but it would not be the utterly hopeless situation that it is very soon going to be for literally millions of people around the world. What everyone wants is the pill, but not the doctor. The doctor might want us to make changes. He might tell us that we need to undergo painful surgery. He might order us to stop doing the things that we have always taken for granted and he might demand that we walk away from habits that have dominated us for our whole lives. And we don't want to consider that. You see, Jesus knew that all this was going to happen. He said things 2000 years ago that would prepare us for it. But we have ignored him. We have made our own rules and our own religious counterfeits and none of them come from following Jesus. Now we are facing the darkest days in the history of the planet and the Bible says that the only people who will be supernaturally provided for during this period are those who have followed the Lamb wherever He goes. That Lamb is Jesus. He is our only hope and still people refuse to follow Him. The disciples asked when He spoke of these days, Lord, where will we go when that happens? And Jesus replied, the birds will go where the food is. It's a frustrating answer to those of us who have never learned to live as the birds do, depending on the Creator to lead us and feed us from one day to the next. But that is precisely the answer that He gave them. And it is the answer that He gives even more strongly to us now. Stop chasing after money and all that it can buy right now, before the mark has been universally implemented. 
stop chasing it and start following the Lamb wherever He goes. Learn to listen to Jesus and learn to apply those teachings which He has so carefully preserved for us in the four Gospels. Learn to apply those teachings in your life right now. Stop working for money and start obeying Jesus. Forsake all those material and emotional crutches and go into all the world with this message about an invisible kingdom where the king himself feeds his children the way he feeds the birds. Yes, a pill would be much easier, but there are no pills. And all who look for them are seeking a false hope. If you want the one and only true answer, then it will only come by doing as the first Christians did, leaving our homes and families, laying down our reputations, and even laying down our lives in service to the King of Kings, assured that He alone has it all under control. I believe that some of us are going to be miraculously protected, but even those few survivors will be people who are not obsessed with protection so much as they are obsessed with our Lord, the Creator of the universe. We must be prepared to lose our lives in service for Him right now and let Him choose how to give it back. Whether through miraculous protection during the dark days of the Great Tribulation or through resurrection after our martyrdom. This is the real crossroad at which we all now stand. Will we choose to sacrifice our lives in service for God now? Or will we continue to live selfishly until there is no choice, until execution or starvation is all that awaits us? Please do not write to me if you are looking for an easy way out. But if you want to give your life for God right now, forsaking all that you have for the privilege of dying for Christ, one day at a time in loving service to God and others, if that is what you want, then please do write to me and I may be able to put you in touch with others who are doing the same thing. Learning to live above all that is happening in the economic and political upheavals that concern the rest of the world. The word survival literally means living above, and that is what God has called on each of us to do. Let us live above the rat race and all that it implies. It is His answer. It has always been His answer. Don't you think it's about time you listened? My email address is on the screen at the moment. Please write to me, subscribe to the channel and encourage others to do the same. And most of all, Open your Bible to the four Gospels and read through the teachings of Jesus for a description and illustration of what it means to be a true Christian, a disciple of Jesus Christ. I look forward to hearing from you today.